Welcome to the presentation of our new wetting and dispersing additives, which are called DispoBook 2018 and DispoBook 2019. My name is Markus Broeker and I'm working in the technical service for floor coatings at BYK. Today I will present you how these wetting and dispersing additives work and what we can improve with these wetting and dispersing additives in your paint formulation. Dispo Work 2018 and Dispo Work 2019 are our new universal solution for aqueous pigment grindings in a lot of different systems. We have tested these wetting and dispersing additives in several starting point formulations with excellent results, and that's the reason why we want to show you these results in detail in this presentation. But first, let's start with a short introduction how wetting and dispersing additives work and what we can do in your paint formulation. In this video, you can see that pigments and water don't like each other. You can see there is no wetting effect when the pigment is on the water surfaces. By adding a portion of a wetting and dispersing additive, you can clearly see that we have an immediate wetting effect of the pigments in water. And that's the first step which we want to have during the dispersing process. It is very important to get very good stabilization of the pigments and a wetting effect with the wetting and dispersing additive in water-based formulations. The second step is then to disperse the particles to smaller ones, like primary particles, and then we get very good stabilization of our pigment concentrates, and we can achieve very high color strange properties. Dispo work 2018 and Dispo work 2019 have an active substance of 52% in water, and you can see on this chart the good performance of these wetting and dispersing additives. They have a broad compatibility in a lot of different binder materials, and you can use it for organic, inorganic, and also for transparent iron oxide pigments. When you use it for pigment concentrates, you can see a very strong viscosity reduction of these pigment concentrates with a Newtonian flow behavior. You can also use it for co-grinding systems and we can improve the high color strange properties. Furthermore, these sweating and dispersing additives are also useful in high pH value systems that means, for example, in the mine part of a two-pack epoxy system. Most products have one basic structure. You can see it here on this chart. We have a hydrophobic backbone with hydrophilic side change. These hydrophilic side change are necessary for good stabilization of the pigments in water and that we separate the primary particles from each other. Furthermore, you can see that we have two different pigment affinity groups. The first one is for inorganic pigments and the second one for organic pigments. And that's the reason why we can use these wetting and dispersing additives in a broad range of different pigments like organic, inorganic, and also transparent iron oxide pigments. We have a controlled polymerization technology, and this leads to tailor-made high molecular weight wetting and dispersing additive products. We have a defined molecular weight and narrow molecular weight distribution, and we can reproduce these products very well every time. On this selection chart, you can see the products which are useful in aqueous applications. On the bottom line, you can see we have a lot of different chemistry which we can use for our 
wetting and dispersing additives. For example, the dark blue one are acrylate copolymers, the green one are fatty acid derivatives, or the yellow one are polyurethane system. On the left side, you can see the molecular weight from low polar, uh, lower molecular weight products to high molecular weight products. And on the bottom line, you can see the delivery form of the systems. On the left side, for example, we have three products which are diluted in a co-solvent or in an organic carrier material. Then we have some product which are 100% products. And on the right side, you can see the product which are diluted in water. And here you will find the new wetting and dispersing additives Dispo Book 2018 and Dispo Book 2019 in the middle molecular weight. These both products, you will, will see it with a light blue one, are CPT-based acrylate copolymer that means, uh, means the controlled polymerization technology is behind these products. And now we come to the application test results we have found in our laboratory. First, in the video, we want to show you the best uh, influence on the strong viscosity reduction with only 15% solid on pigment of Dispo Book 2018. You can see that we have used here uh, organic costaperm pink E pigment with 30% inside the pigment concentrate. And you can see um, on the bottom line the standard material which have with 15% and 30% not a good flow behavior and viscosity profile as the Dispo Book 2018. Furthermore, we can say that we have a very excellent storage stability profile with Dispo Book 2018 and also with only 15% solid on pigment with this product. You can see on the top the before storage viscosity and then after four weeks at 50 degrees, we can say we have the same viscosity profile after four weeks at this temperature. Another good point is the excellent stabilization and the wrap up performance at a low additive level. Here on this chart, you can see the standard material, uh, which is with heliogene green L8730 pigment with 30% and 50% solid on pigment. And it is tinted in a white base paint on an acrylic dispersion. After one day, we made a drawdown with 200 micrometers wet film on a contrast chart, and then we tested the wrap up performance in this color. And you can see when we only use 15% solid on pigment of our Dispo Book 2018 we can have the same delta E and the same color strange properties against the standard material with 30% solid on pigment. That means that we can create very good stabilization uh, products with only a low additive level of our new wetting and dispersing additives. On the next chart, I want to show you the excellent transparency properties with iron oxide, yellow and red pigments. You can see here um, the two iron oxide pigments, the Zicotrans yellow L1960 and Zicotrans red L2816. And we are using here in this case 25% solid, uh, solid on pigment of our wetting and dispersing additive. We tested these pigment paste in a clear coat based on an acrylic dispersion and made a drawdown 100 micron wet film on a glass panel. And what we can see is that the standard material has a very high haze value 
And with our Dispo book 2018, we can improve the haze very, very good to roundabout haze of eight after 14 days at 50 degrees. That means also here in this starting point formulation, we have very stable products and very good haze values also after storage time. Another example is in this case, the excellent transparency in a one pack polyurethane clear coat formulation. On the left side, you can see the control and the standard material. And also here, the Dispo Book 2018 and Dispo Book 2019 show very transparent products when we used 20% of the wetting and dispersing additive solid on pigment in this kind of formulation. The film thickness in this case is 50 microns, and you can see the excellent transparency in this starting point also on the picture on the right side with both products against the standard and the control. Another example is the viscosity co curve over time with the Dispo Book 2018 of this pigment concentrate. In this case, we made a Fatalo Blue pigment concentrate. And you can see that we have very good storage stability properties with no increasement in the viscosity over the time at 50 degrees. And also when we mix the pigment concentrate into the amine part of a two-pack epoxy systems, we can create very good delta E values like 0.4. So that means that we have very good and excellent viscosity reduction properties and long-term stability, storage stability results in aqueous slurry grinds. And on the next slide, you can see also here that we put the pigment concentrates into a two-pack aqueous epoxy floor coating, in this case, in the amine part. And what we show, want to show you now is that also at high pH value, the pigment concentrates are very stable over a long time at 28 days at 50 degrees. And here you can see the results after this period of time. With Dispo Book 2018, we can create a very good delta E value of 0.4. When we have a look at the standard material, we have a delta E after this time of around about 1.8 to 1.7. And what we also see is that the pigment concentrates are also stable on the pictures in the round. You can see that the Dispo Book 2018 shows a very good flow behavior against, for example, the standard material number two. Another option is to use this wetting and dispersing additive in a co-grind system. You can see here the results for an aqueous epoxy primer systems, and here we used 1.45 percent active substance on pigment and fillers in a coal grind. And want, what we want to show you now is we can create excellent salt spray test results in this formulation. And you can see here the pictures of these results. We have no negative influence on the delamination with these both products when we use it for the coal grind formulation after 1000 hours neutral salt spray test. We applied this formulation on a cold rolled steel with a dried film thickness of 75 microns. Last but not least, the last test result is in a um, general industrial coating formulation. It is a two-pack polyacrylate coating and also here we use the wetting and dispersing additive in a co-grind systems. We have a mixed pigmentation of yellow, green, bifurox yellow, and Kronos, the titan dioxide pigments. 
And what we can see it now is that we have very excellent delta E values of 0.2 against the control of over 1.1. Furthermore, we have very good, excellent um, color strange and high gloss levels with Dispo Book 2019 in this case, and the samples are stored two weeks at 40 degrees. We can say the benefits of these both products are outstanding pigment stabilization with a lot of different pigments for inorganic, organic pigments, and also useful for transparent iron oxide pigments. We can reduce the viscosity in the mill base as well as of the final system very strong, and we have a very good long-term stability without viscosity shift. Furthermore, you can use these wetting and dispersing additive in high pH value systems, and these are VOC-free and biocide-free. We test these um, wetting and dispersing additives in a lot of starting point formulation from our side, for example, in architectural coatings, graphic arts, or floor coatings, adhesives and sealants, automotive, wood and furniture, protective and general industrial coatings. That means if you have any question, you can ask everyone of our colleagues from every department.